And I want you to put together a pound for pound promotions list. Uh, <laughs> With your new reach, uh, how do you rank amongst uh, you know, Strike Force, UFC? In terms of overall universe? In terms of the amount of, you mean, in, in, are you asking in terms of how many homes will we be available in? Homes and also just uh, as a fight organ organization. Oh, how we rank? Yeah, both. And oh. how would you, you know, rank, compare yourselves to Sure. Um, I think it, uh, from a reach perspective, our new alliance is, an, is a very large alliance. Um, as I've said before, and I'll say again, on a weekly basis, we will be available in over 150 million homes across the country. Um, it's a very large distribution platform. Um, in terms of frequency of programming, I don't think anybody can touch what the UFC is doing, because if you go to Spike, they have a wide variety of programs on the network. So in terms of the number of shows that they'll have, that the UFC has on a weekly basis, they have a huge number. But in terms of the number of homes reached on a weekly basis, we're, we're in a very, very good spot. I'm super comfortable with it. Um, it's taken a long time to put together, but we've got a big universe. Um, in terms of ranking, um, it, I would say that we're, um, just like I said before we even launched, we tried to do something quite different. We tried to um, tie objectivity to this game much the way that every other major sport ties objectivity to their game, like soccer, basketball, football, baseball. Um, we have taken matchmaking to a large extent out of the equation. The only matched fights you'll see on our shows are those that aren't tournament fights. Um, and then you do them because you want to test a guy and see, hey, maybe does he have what it takes to be in the tournament next season? Or is he a fighter we want to try to build up so that he can get to a point where he can compete at that level? Um, so, it, you know, I'm always hesitant to compare or contrast. There's obviously one huge player in our space that dominates it, and that's the UFC. They are the 800-pound gorilla in the mixed martial arts space. They do a great job. You know, I mean, I'm. You know, it's funny because you watch other promoters who have come and gone, who have worn other, you know, other mantles, and they have um, negative things to say about the UFC, and they're going to compete with them, or they're going to do this, or they're going to do that. You know, you heard it from the IFL, you heard it from Elite XC, you heard it from Affliction. Um, unfortunately, for those groups, they're no longer here. Um, UFC does a great job. You know, I watch their shows on Spike, and I watch their pay-per-views, and I've actually paid money to go to their events. So um, I think that, I've said this before, if you are in this space, in the competitive environment of fight promotion and, and national and international television, if your intent is not to at some point compete with the UFC, then you shouldn't be in the business. Because ultimately, there's one huge player in every space, and you want to eventually get to a point where you can be somewhat competitive with them. Um, but to, to try to voice that Bellator at this stage moving into our next progression is competitive with would be silly. We're not. Um, but I think we offer something to fight fans that's very unique. I know we offer something to fight fans that's very unique. We have a tournament format which runs successive weeks every week, same place, same channel, um, same time. Um, and that's completely unique. And it's something that I wanted to do personally as a fan for a lot of years. Um, and I used to watch the old UFC tournaments that would take place in one night. I mean, there was a certain kind of brutal aspect to it, but they were very cool because it was clear cut what was going to happen next. You watch the tournaments that take place in Japan. They have, from my perspective, they have way too much time between events because that, that's the nature of how they're set up. But, um, but I think those are cool because you know that if a guy wins, he's going to ultimately face the other guy who wins who was on the other side of the bracket. So uh, that made a ton of sense to me. And that's what I think, um, if, if you're asking kind of where we set up, I think we're far and away the top promotion when it comes to tournament fighting in this country on a weekly basis. Um, we're expanding our audience. And, um, you know, the other organizations, they, you know, the UFC speaks for itself. The WEC and Strikeforce do a tremendous job. They put a lot of butts in seats. A lot of people watch the shows. I think Showtime is probably increasing its subscription base based on um, what's, what Scott Coker and the Strikeforce folks have been able to do. So... You know, they it. The more people who watch mixed martial it, it, mixed martial arts fighting has got um, a, a, almost kind of a flu mentality to it. The more people who get touched by it, the more people who become part of it. And I, I don't say that in a negative way. And it's probably not the greatest analogy. But if Strike Force does well on Showtime and it draws subscriptions to that network, we have expanded the fan base of MMA. If more people watch Versus and Versus is doing solid numbers with WEC programming, that only helps. It's a great sport. I think there's room for two or three players in this space to have a position 
and offer can you know like we do offer something a little bit different to fans that they can watch and enjoy and eat up you know I come from it as a fan first and kind of a CEO second and this is this is what I wanted to see happen.